Alright guys. Alright everybody. We're back in the city. So I was gonna make a little video here. I don't know uh, how bad this water noise is gonna be. Let me uh let me cut some of this off and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through my bug out bag, uh, things I use, uh, what to use, how to use, where to use. Alright everybody, like I said, uh, we're back in the city so I'm gonna show you where we're at. Uh, this is our place in town. Uh, I got a koi pond over here. Hey YouTube, it's uh, Jake again. We're back in the city. I uh, hadn't made a video in a week or so. We were on vacation, so uh, took a little time off. I uh, hadn't forgot about the giveaway. This is gonna be a uh, the last video, actually, before I draw the winner for the giveaway. Uh, so if you have not, uh, uh, participated in the giveaway please look back a couple of videos it uh, has a title of enter now free giveaway merchandise blah 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 uh, it's back just a couple of videos uh, this will be the last one I make uh, before the giveaway so again the rules are you got to be a subscriber you need to hit your bell notification and you actually need to go back onto the video two videos back I believe and leave a comment on that video for the registration that's what will actually register you for the giveaway uh, is to leave a comment on that video. Of course, you need to be a subscriber and hit that bell notification so that you'll know uh, if you won or not. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to give y'all guys a little quick tour. Said we're back in the city. Uh, so, I'm just going to give you a shot of what we're working with here. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this video outside. The water noise is too loud. Uh, over here we got a rather large orange tree probably makes uh, 40 50 pounds of oranges beside it there is a lime tree probably makes four or five pounds of limes uh, out there I don't know if you can see it but we got some banana trees they make bananas uh, back there in the very very back we have a loquat tree which makes some pretty good fruit uh, there is a grapefruit tree right here, which makes wonderful grapefruit, and there's another orange tree uh, beside that one that makes some uh, pretty good oranges. Uh, I got a bunch of pecan trees, pecan trees, pecan, pecan, however you want to say it. Uh, started over here from our river house. We've got them potted and growing. We're going to transplant them down to our ranch. Uh, probably going to put 30 or 40 uh, pecans in down there. This is just the backyard guys again we're in the dead middle of the city i try to make it as private as possible uh, but you can only do so much with shrubbery but today we're going to go over my bug out bag uh, so uh, let me get this camera set up inside where it's a little quieter and uh, we're going to go through everything that i carry in that bag and uh, what i carry on me daily all right thanks guys we'll be back in a minute Okay everybody, uh, we've gotten in here to where it's going to be a little quieter and uh, hopefully I can uh, go through this bag with you. Uh, like I said, this is a tactical performance bag. Uh, I got it at uh, Academy probably a few years ago. It has held up really well. It gets thrown around a lot. I've used it many times to camp out of, uh, hike with, uh, do some backpacking, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's a great bag. I didn't have to spend a lot of money on it, probably less than a hundred bucks. Uh, but don't go out there and buy a cheap $20, $30 bag and expect it to last uh, for any amount of time or through any amount of wear and tear. Uh, because if you put the essentials in there that you need, uh, and that is going to vary person to person and place to pay place. Uh, but when you get all the essentials in there that you need, uh, that bag is going to weigh quite a bit. Uh, the, the one thing that I look for from the very beginning is extra padding uh, in the shoulder straps and also in the back. Uh, because if you carry this thing for any amount of distance, that padding right there sure makes a difference. Uh, Everything is nice, heavy stitching, uh, lift handle. Uh, it's a waist band type strap which also allows me to carry my pistol uh, doesn't interfere with that and I can actually wear my plate carrier with this as well uh, I take the rear plate out put the rear plate in the backpack 
uh, and I can wear this pack with my plate carrier and still carry my pistol on my belt. So really nothing <clears throat> too special about the bag other than I like the compartments on the bag. I'll do this white towel down here for my special effects. Hopefully it'll uh, help things show up a little bit better as far as what's in the bag. This is not the best axe in the world, but it works and has worked well for quite some time. It's easy to sharpen, even though it is plastic and you can see where that plastic wears away as you beat on it. Uh, I just really haven't found a great axe hatchet that I like that's small to carry. Uh, so if y'all have some recommendations, uh, please leave them below in the comments because I would like a nice hatchet uh, small in size, uh, lightweight. This uh, this seems to work. Like I said, it's easy to sharpen and uh, it's been heavily used for the little bit of wear that's on it. But you're going to need a hatchet. This is the light that I carry. It's called a stream light. Again, uh, I'm not endorsing anybody. It's just a great light. I like the way that it feels. I like the way the, the handle is rubber. It has uh, several different settings and it's actually about 3500 lumens. Uh, it is rechargeable <coughs> via USB port. Uh, so uh, the batteries themselves are actually rechargeable. Uh, I've got them in there on the counter. I'll show them to you, but well, actually these right here. They are the lithium batteries, but they have a little USB charger right there in the side if you can focus on that for recharging. I try and get a flashlight that is uh, rechargeable because I have a small portable solar bank in here that will recharge this light. Again, but it's about 3500 lumens. Uh, it's a pretty bright flashlight. I believe it's a stream light. <clears throat> if there's one product that I could endorse for all of you uh, guys and gals out there, it uh, would be a great gift if you have someone that's an outdoorsman uh, or a craftsman, either way. Uh, this was given to me as a gift probably 10 years ago. Uh, it's a Victronics knife, the original uh, Swiss Army knife. It's actually, this one actually came from Switzerland. I don't know if it will read the name on there or not. But it's kind of like a Leatherman, the original Leatherman, I would say. It has uh, all kinds of tools in there. And uh, it has several very sharp knives, pliers, wire cutters, scissors, screwdrivers. Uh, if you like a Leatherman type of utility pocket knife, I would highly, highly recommend one of these. They're not cheap. Uh, I don't even know if they sell them in the U.S. Uh, this one was brought over some time ago, like I said, a gift. Uh, but it is still razor sharp and I have used it for everything. I would highly recommend getting one of those. I actually took this off of my belt and replaced it with a double mag carrier for my pistol with all the recent events going on. Uh, I do keep this in my backpack which stays in my truck but uh, I did take this off my belt uh, to supplement my ammo that I carry with me on a daily basis. Here's the little portable solar charger I was telling you about that I use. I use this thing for everything from my phone to my flashlight batteries to the scope batteries on my rifle. Uh, anything USB uh, you can change to plug-ins. Uh, you can get power out of this, throw it out in the sun uh, and it'll charge itself up. Hang it off your backpack, whatever. Uh, but uh, portable power is always good to have. I like a headlamp. Uh, 
if I'm having to travel and use a headlight, I don't always necessarily want to have a flashlight in my hand. Uh, this is a Black Diamond brand. It's got multiple settings. It's pretty bright. I think it's about uh, 600 lumens on the high setting. Uh, but uh, a good, again, a, a good light. In, in a situation where you need light, uh, having a flashlight is critical. Standard can opener, bottle opener. A, a live straw. Again, a small LED flashlight. I think the batteries are dead. The key to these is always put 10 year batteries in your stuff. Uh, go out and buy new 10 year guaranteed batteries now because as sure as you leave batteries in there they are going to leak into your nice expensive flashlight. So go buy the 10 year battery, put them in your light and leave the end cap loose so that when the flashlight is in your bag it cannot accidentally be pushed on and run your battery down. So just turn it on and unscrew it till it goes out and then you can't accidentally turn it on. And it will last for 10 years. Again, another light. As you can see, I got lots of light in this bag. Light is important in the darkness. You're gonna need it. Empty pack number one. <clears throat> Spare 10 year Duracell batteries for what I need in this pack to run off of batteries. These are not rechargeables, but I do have some rechargeables that I can run with my little solar panel. Uh, but I do carry just a few regular batteries, enough for a few changes, lots of hours in the things that I have to run that need power. I carry a reel of lightweight fishing string. I think this is probably six pounds. Uh, many, many uses for this other than obviously fishing. I carry a heavier 30 pound, I believe. 30 pound monofilament line. Again, this is good for many, many uses. We can get into all this stuff uh, later. It'd just be too long a video to explain each and every use, but use your imagination. This can come in real handy. A marks a lot marker and a pen. In case you need to write a message, a pen will not always write on any surface. What if you need to write on the hood of a car? What if you need to write on a piece of glass? On a mirror? So carry a marks a lot with you and a pen. An emergency solar blanket and a small poncho plastic clear see-through poncho. This is steel wire for snares or I can think of a dozen, dozen other reasons but mainly this is a snare wire. You can also pick a lock with that. This is a quick knife sharpener carbide. It's very old. Uh, it's a lot easier than having to use a whetstone or a rock in a situation where you just need a sharp knife. <coughs> sharp knife is critical and key. Uh, I have been in the situation to where I was bitten by a rattlesnake and 
At the time, uh, we all carried pocket knives and uh, we tried the uh, ritualistic cut your hand open, suck the poison out kind of situation and everybody there had a very dull knife. And since that day, I have carried a very sharp knife. Again, it's a bench made knife. Very, very sharp. Uh, I can tell you when you are trying to saw your hand open with this knife, uh, you want it to be sharp. That is one of my everyday carry items in my pocket. I carry my set of knife, fork, and spoon for my eating utensils. They do snap together in a set, stick together. I do have a set of gloves. Uh, for many reasons, this is generally in there for cold weather, but I also just uh, keep a pair of gloves for haul and carry and uh, general usage, going through brush, whatever it may be, a pair of gloves. Lightweight, thicker in the winter. A whetstone for sharpening blades. It's uh, pretty fine. Everything stays pretty sharp that I have, so I just need to find one. <clears throat> a basically rifle tool, AR tool, punch set, allen wrenches, keys. About a half a roll of electrical tape. Uh, this can be used from everything to from a tourniquet to uh, electrical wire tape so everything in between this is a, a roll of this good stuff to have in pouch number two standard set of uh, cookware I think uh, you get a pan with this there may be a little cup in there may have thrown an extra pan it's because we've been out camping extra pan paper towels keeps it from rattling around inside of there when you're walking around a million uses for the paper towels that's uh, two pots three pots all the silverware. This is just a little carry-all. We have everything in here from daily meds, from Tylenol, Advil. Uh, there's some anti-diarrheal in there. There's some Pepto in there. Uh, just everyday normal daily meds uh, that uh, for aches and pains, normal stuff that you might come across. Anti-diarrheal guys. Uh, after you've been out a few days on the trail, I don't care what you're doing, what you're eating, it's a change of lifestyle and your body's going to have a change too and you don't want to be dehydrated. So throw you some Pepto, some uh, Modium AD in there, it'll help you out in the long run. I keep silver and gold in this box. Okay, there's a little... Uh, piece of gold in there and a few ounces of silver <clears throat> disinfectant nail polish is good for everything from sealing a cut to uh, bug bites uh, all kinds of uh, stuff for nail polish I got some band-aids in there a little bit of cotton And disinfectant pads nothing uh, real special as far as uh, first aid goes I do have another little box in here that's got a few other things but uh, let's face it anything other than uh, a mild cut or abrasion is not going to be good and you're going to have to seek medical attention uh, even if you've just cut yourself and you have sutures and you can sew it up uh, the infection afterwards is probably what's going to get you, not the wound itself. 
I see a lot of guys spend a lot of money uh, on medical stuff, on first aid gear, on trauma wound kits and things like that. Uh, just to be real guys, uh, if this all goes down and you happen to be shot out in the field, the chances are you're not going to make it. I mean, that's just the realism. Uh, even if one of your buddies or your group or whoever has a trauma kit, uh, and they can stop the bleeding, blah, 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 get you back to the house and keep you alive. Uh, how many people out there actually have the medication that it's going to take, uh, require for you to survive? I mean, even in a, me in a medical hospital in today's day and age, uh, gunshot wounds, uh, sure, uh, a lot of people survive them, but it's because of the medicine and the attention they receive. And uh, I don't know of anybody that's uh, fully set up for that kind of uh, medical situation. Uh, yeah, we're going to stop your bleeding and get you back to camp so uh, you can basically die in front of everybody at the camp of uh, gangrene. So I don't carry a lot of medical stuff, cuts, wounds that I can heal, uh, but anything major, gunshot wounds, stabbings, uh, broken stuff, you are going to need to seek medical attention. That's just uh, that's just all there is to it. You can think not, but in the long term, that is what's going to happen. I carry a couple of uh, meals. These are just heat water, ready to eat. Uh, survival meals. Again. I just got these because they're pre-packaged, ready to go, easy, camping, hiking type stuff. And for the first few days, if I'm having to use this bag, uh, this is what I'm going to want. I'm going to want something easy to make, quick, uh, not a lot of scent, not a lot of odor, not a big fire. I don't have to trap, kill, game, uh, uh, use ammunition, give away location, things like that. I can make nice, quiet, uh, small portion meals and uh, move along. So I just keep a couple of these uh, in the bag. Add water, that's all you gotta do. <clears throat> Here is a uh, fire starter. Flint, magnesium rod, whatever you wanna call it. Get a good one, don't skimp. Get one that's almost the size of your finger. Have a good one. Have something there to strike on. You're going to use it. And of course, I always have a lighter in my pocket. This is the gas can for a little camp stove that I have. Again, for me, having to use this bag the first few days, uh, concealment is what's going to be important to me. So for cooking, purifying water, anything that I need a fire for, I have a small stove. This is a small backpacking stove, basically unfolds. Like so. Screw this onto your gas canister. You have basically an alcohol stove. It puts out no smoke, no smell. Uh, you can cook, boil water with this. And uh, this will last many days if used conservatively uh, for what you need it for. And again, lightweight, easy, uh, and concealment is the main factor that I was looking for there. At times get bad enough that you're having to use this pack. Uh, you're not going to be one of giving yourself away by a big barbecue and fire and smoke and all that kind of stuff. So the first few days are going to be really important. <coughs> And all that just goes into that little small carrying case. This will also change. The bag will change with your age. As I was younger, I had different things in this bag. Could carry more weight. Now that I'm older, 
I keep a spare set of glasses in a hard case inside of this pack. I'm also lightening the weight on this pack. I know a lot of you guys are younger. I'm pushing 50. Uh, so I don't intend on having to carry this pack far. I could if I had to. Uh, I've done it. I mean, you've seen my other videos. I get out and throw out five, six, seven thousand pounds of concrete. So uh, I'm not afraid of a workout or to get out and use this stuff. But as I've gotten older, uh, I try to make it as easy and as comfortable for me as possible. That's the key also when buying some of this stuff use what feels most comfortable to you uh, yes i can make fire from two sticks uh, three sticks and a bow drill i mean uh, i can do it i've done it but do you really want to wear uh, spend the time and effort to do that when it's you can simply strike a striker and have fire insect repellent if you can look for the 100% DEET 100% takes less and it fights off a lot more bugs gun oil I do carry several weapons so gun oil in your backpack is nice to have I 50 paracord. I always got a wad with me somewhere. You've seen the reel in the other video. I keep a thousand feet on a reel, so I've always got 550. This is just a little Altoids 10 that I got. Inside of there is an electric igniter. Oh, you can see that, but you can get a spark. There's also a rope chainsaw saw blade a rope saw basically uh, this is what I use in my backpack I actually do have a chainsaw blade that has straps on either side but again I quit carrying it some time ago I opt for this smaller one lighter weight but that would be like the third or fourth method of fire you noticed when you start talking survival one item is zero two is one three is two four is three redundancy is the key one quits one breaks one stops you lose one whatever you've got another one again just another old tin I like to pack stuff in small stuff <coughs> here's some more medical these are actually sutures just in case you need to sew up something there is, is also my fishing kit I got some hooks in there there is a hundred dollar bill cash and another method of fire it'd be easier to show you some of all that this is for water purification I have some uh, fishing stuff in there, little lures, weight, hooks, a knife, a sharp knife. There's a couple of zip ties in there. There's some foil down in the bottom of that tin. There's some little items, corks, rubber bands, little uses items, make things easier. You can put whatever you want to use in there what what's comfortable for you you know I have my theory and thoughts on the things that I need to live may be totally different than yours the fact that you get it together and have it together is what's important bags I do have a compass a 
I have thought so far into this bag that when it gets down to it, I have a change of underwear and a pair of socks in there. And what you may laugh about that and think that would be a good idea to have in there. But when you put yours in there, be sure to put dark colors. Uh, you don't want to be walking through the woods with your tidy whities hanging off of the, your backpack from when you just washed them the night before. So think about dark socks and dark underwear because those are going to be the things that you're washing uh, along your trip and letting hang dry on your backpack as you're moving along. So the spare set that you have on should also be uh, color coordinated dark underwear and socks that's basically all you need you're going to have pants shirt etc already and plus a spare set in the pack hygiene products everything from lip balm toothpaste shampoo soap uh, it's all in there toothbrushes hygiene is going to be important make sure you uh, take care of it This is the spare set of clothing that I have, tightly bound. It's basically a camo set of breathable pants and shirt. This may change in the winter time to something thicker. Uh, but being here in Texas, I can pretty much wear this uh, and be warm with what other clothing that I have on, just double layer. And I could pretty much sustain out in any weather here in Texas, unless it's something very unusual. This is a pure water, water purification system. Basically, you throw this off into the water. You hook your hose up to the bottom of this, and you've got a pump. You can refill canteens, you can refill bottles, blah, 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 whatever. It's a ceramic filter in here that is washable. Uh, it's just uh, more capacity than the life straw. I carry a canteen, which I actually don't have in here at the moment, but I'll show to you. It's just a military style belt uh, canteen. Uh, so this, uh, this is basically just a water pump. Filters the water for drinkable. There is also a different type of life straw in here. It's just an older one that I've actually used and still use. <clears throat> Hennessy hammock. I far prefer sleeping in a hammock than any other way uh, whenever I'm hiking or in the woods. You're up off of the ground, you're away from creepy crawlies. Uh, this thing has a rain fly that comes with it. You can pretty much set it up anywhere. You don't have to have a flat area. Uh, it has a screen guard. Uh, I would recommend the zipper side entrance, not the Velcro on the bottom. Uh, but these hammocks are by far the best hammock and the most comfortable that you can get. I also use climbing rings. You can go into a whole new story on the climbing rings and what they can be used for. Uh, but if you guys using hammocks don't know about climbing rings, uh, check these things out, man. These make hanging your hammock the easiest uh, thing in the world. Uh, maybe another video on those. Uh, but you can get these. They're climbing rings. I think they're rated for about 3,000 pounds each. But we'll put up the hammock one day and. I'll show you how those climbing rings work. This is a set of Frog Togs rain gear. Uh, they will keep you dry. There is a, another camouflage spare shirt in there. Uh, but uh, Frog Togs will keep you dry. 
portable gun cleaning kit. Has uh, basically everything you need in there to clean any weapon. I have two 25 round boxes of 556. One 50 round box of 9 millimeter and one 100 round box of 22. And in the end there, I keep some loaded with rat shot or bird shot. Uh, makes dispensing or a quick meal a lot easier if you're within range. And in the backpack itself, This is my spare Walther PPE 22. I carry a spare mag for the P22. As far as the everyday carry items, Carry a CZ SPO1 tactical. It comes with the glow in the dark sights. It has a decocker with no safety. Uh, holds 19 plus 1. And for all you gentlemen, yes, we do carry one in the pipe. I carry two spare mags. This is what I actually gave up. My knife for because of the times. As you can see we carry uh, hollow points in there. But I carry these two mags and the CZ open carry legally. And I wear this belt. This is a required lock in holster with the finger unlock. Makes it nice. So that is what's in my bag. That's what I'm going to take with me when I leave and when I decide to get out. You can call it a bug out bag, a get home bag, a getaway bag, a camping bag, whatever. But what's in this bag is going to get me closer to where I need to be going. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, again, I carry a little military style canteen. I'll try and get it in on another video. It's just the old style with the cup, uh, but I carry it on my belt. I do carry spare batteries for everything, like the flashlight. Uh, trying to think what else I didn't mention, but pretty much this is what goes with me. And like I said, I'm looking for a little hatchet, so if y'all guys got some uh, good recommendations on a uh, nice hatchet, uh, please leave them down in the comments below. Thanks guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Uh, remember, go back a couple of videos and get registered for that giveaway because I will give you a little hint. Something that was uh, in this bag right here, maybe not the same brand, but something that was in this bag right here is gonna be coming to you. Uh, it's an important item, it's an expensive item, and it's a well needed item, and it'll be a well used item. So, uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Subscribe. Uh, hit that bell notification. The next video, I'm going to be doing the drawing. So, get to my channel and uh, get registered. A couple of videos back. You got to leave a comment on that video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, everybody. I figured uh, while I had it out, I would uh, go ahead and show you all. This is uh, my plate carrier. It has the ceramic Kevlar uh, plates uh, with sides. I carry four 9mm mags and uh, three AR mags. Uh, this is a striker uh, carrier and plates. Again, they are the ceramic uh, Kevlar plates. Uh, this weighs about, uh, without ammunition, it weighs about 10 pounds. With it, it's uh, closer to 20, but 
Uh, I got a buddy that has these steel plates and his carrier is just over 20 pounds uh, uh, with the plates alone. So I remember I can uh, take out this rear plate and put it in the backpack and I can wear the backpack with this. Again, look for the uh, padded shoulders guys, really makes a difference. And uh, the padded interiors, uh, you can see down inside of there, but uh, it's got pads that run along the inside here and the outside. Not a lot on it. Uh, this is pretty much uh, for guard duty. Uh, like I said, I hope I don't have to be carrying this uh, in the pack at the same time. Pack weighs in at about uh, 32 pounds. Uh, you add another 20 pounds for this. Uh, you're carrying around 50 pounds. It starts to get heavy after a while. Uh, just a little note inside of this patch right here razor blade fish hooks weights uh, fire stick starter uh, some string fishing string uh, there's quite a few little items that are sewn on the inside of this patch so all else fails rip that thing and go uh, there's enough in there to give you warmth and food probably there's some little things to think about you buy all this stuff guys think about what you're wearing think about uh, how it's going to feel put it on wear it around check it out uh, because just because it looks good on tv or whatever uh, does not necessarily mean that it's going to work for you uh, i went through a couple of plate carriers before i found one that i actually like and actually fit uh, and one that i could use with my backpack of course i could uh, cut the backpack up and get it onto the back of this. There's plenty of molly uh, to strap on. Uh, but again, if I'm wearing this, probably chances are I'm already at the location I need to be and everything I need is less than, than 50 yards away. So thought I'd just throw that in. That's my plate carrier. Again, it's a striker. Uh, it's probably got three years left on it. Uh, so it's uh, good to go. That stays in my vehicle at all times with that bag. And again, I'm never far away from that vehicle. And here is the little canteen I was telling you about. Again, it just goes on my belt. And it has the standard cup. I put a little duct tape on the bottom of it. Never know when you might need duct tape. And I put a little uh, foil down in the bottom of my bag. Uh, yeah, you can cook on a rock. Uh, you can cook on a stick. Uh, but if you got just a little piece of foil, it sure makes cooking in the bush a lot easier. Uh, so a couple of the things that I have do have foil uh, wrapped in them or packed in them uh, on them uh, somewhere light lightweight easy can be used to cook can be used to signal can be used to plug a hole uh, all kinds of stuff so uh, that's my get out of town gear uh, bug out bag whatever you want to call it guys uh, i'll get into the weaponry uh, what i carry uh, in a different video uh, thanks for watching hit the subscribe button go back and uh, watch that other video and get registered to win that prize i guarantee y'all are going to like it thanks for watching